Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Today I'm so happy to bring you this international taste and it is sponsored by none other than Showman e Bistro. Showman e Bistro is a weekly meal kit service that curates international food experiences with each box. Enjoy international cuisine from your kitchen with Showman's pre-packaged and pre-portioned ingredients, which feed a family of four a minimum of seven meals per person. Showman e Bistro is committed to supporting Bahamians by sourcing produce from local farmers and is a pro-social sponsor of Hands for Hunger. Go to showmanebistro.com to order your box today. And now that we have our showman box and we have our showman pot, this week we are in the land of Manish water, ackee and saltfish. One of my personal favorites that I have been jonesing for is a Jamaican hot patty, steamed fish and okra. And of course, if you like spice, the gal them got the pumpkin. So let's see what we are going to be making. Plantain. Carrot, potato, sweet potato, scallion, green pepper, onion, garlic paste, thyme, allspice, cinnamon and bay leaf. Ooh, we got ginger and scotch bonnet. Browning, apple cider vinegar, and today we are going to make my version of Jamaican oxtail. Now that we know that oxtail is what we're going to be preparing, let's begin by saying I'm making a Jamaican inspired oxtail okay i like my way of doing things i also love the food of jamaica and so i want to marry the kind of bahamian taste along with the jamaican taste and we're going to turn it into something beautiful the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to prep our oxtail begin by rinsing your oxtails in cool water then carefully remove the yellow fat that is deposited around the edges. Rinse with apple cider vinegar and massage it in very, very rigorously. Then re-rinse your meat. After that, you should be ready to begin your recipe. Now that we have our oxtails clean, it's time to marinate them. And we're going to be going for a sweet, kind of savory kind of flavor. And I'm going to be developing these flavors very slowly because oxtail should not be rushed. Okay, our oxtail is here and it is ready. We're going to start with the onion. After the onion, we are going to mince some ginger, then we're going to take the scallion, cut it up, add it to the bowl, cinnamon, then nutmeg. We also want to use a little bit of onion powder, some allspice, but ground allspice is better, some ignite for the pepper, salt to taste. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of garlic and our two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of browning thyme to taste and of course we want some bay leaves for flavor and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce then we're going to After mix that, that rigorously. Is beautifully marinated we're going to cover it with a bit of plastic wrap we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to maybe about an hour and then I'll show you how to infuse the flavors but right now I'm going to oil down the skin of my breadfruit I'm going to cut it right about here and I'm going to stick it inside the oven I'm going to let it roast and we're going to do some ground provisions as well with our oxtail simply because it tastes good our breadfruit is roasting in the oven our oxtails are marinated and now it's time for us to sear them and get this cooking process started what we're doing right now is we are searing our oxtails this is to release some of the flavor but it's also to give it kind of this beautiful brown color on the outside because of the method that we're going to be using to cook today, we definitely want to ensure that we get the most flavor from our meat. Okay guys, so you see this? You want this nice brown kind of 
char on the outside. And I don't mind the fact that in here is a bit dark. That is because of the browning and the Worcestershire sauce as well as the other things that we added. But we're going to work very quickly to kind of deglaze this pan, okay? So now all of those spices that we had in here. We're just going to add these to the pot as well. I'm not going to throw all of the marinade in. Okay? We need all of this flavor in here. All of this. While that is simmering, I'm going to add about a cup of homemade beef broth. This is the reason why you don't throw away your pan drippings for such a time as this. Now that our onions and the rest of our seasonings are coming to a boil, we're going to add two big ladlefuls of that tomato puree and pepper sauce that's African inspired that we started a bit earlier. And we're going to mix that in. We're going to let this simmer for about five minutes so that it can kind of thicken up a little bit because the kind of gravy that I want is something that you could sop up and just, you know, really, really enjoy. Gravy is hot and it's ready. Our oxtails have been seared, marinated to perfection. We have some chopped carrots here and some chopped sweet peppers and I'm going to put one goat pepper or habanero pepper or hot pepper or whatever kind of pepper on the top of this while this sits in our crock pot. The trick here is that everything is already hot so that the slow cooker is not having to come up to heat. We're going to leave it on high. And while that's happening, we are going to ensure that we have our sweet potato, our pumpkin, our cassava, yes, and our breadfruit ready for this delicious oxtail feast. Our oxtails are succulent and falling off of the bone. They are delicious, a little bit sweet, a little bit savory, a whole lot of spice and a whole lot of love. Now, if case you're wondering, we had them inside the slow cooker for about two and a half hours. Oxtails will not be rushed. If you want to speed this process up just a little bit, I suggest that you marinate your oxtails at least 24 hours and then put them inside the pressure cooker and allow them to cook. Strain off some of the oil off the top and then you're going to want to continue the process from where I seared the meat and then I added all of the other ingredients. You can also prep your oxtails by putting them in the oven at 250 degrees for about three hours and allow them to roast in your marinade and it's going to give you a developed and complex flavor that you are going to love and enjoy. I'm serving my oxtail with some pan fried breadfruit. We roasted it in the oven first and then we fried it in some garlic butter to add to the flavor profile. And then we have some steamed vegetables, the pumpkin, the plantain, the sweet potato and the eddy potato as some people may call it. It is all a great meal, provisions as many people in the Caribbean call it. And I can tell you that I absolutely love it. I want to say thank you so much to Showman E Bistro and of course if you want to get your box that's going to take your taste buds on an international trip go to showmanebistro.com you can place your order and if you'd like to donate to a family that's in need then you can do so Showman E Bistro delivers the kits through Hands for Hunger so your donation goes to the people that definitely need it and that is something that I can stand behind. Until next week, I hope that you have enjoyed this edition of Bodine Pot International Taste. Course, after your food done cook, don't forget, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Tell them get their own showman box. <laughs> I want to try this one. Just look at how this, this comes off of the bone. Look at that. Mm. Just like... Mmm. Like octal.
Mm-hmm.